Good morning. This is Thursday, February 22nd, and today's uh, devotion is the discipline of spiritual perseverance. This is Psalm 4610, a very popular psalm. Be still and know that I am God. Perseverance is more than endurance. It is endurance combined with absolute assurance and certainty that what we are looking for is going to happen. Perseverance means more than just hanging on, which may be only exposing a fear of letting go. Perseverance is our supreme effort to refuse to believe that our hero is, not, is going to be conquered. Our greatest fear is not that we'll be damned, but that somehow Jesus Christ will be defeated. Also, our fear is that the very things our Lord stood for, love, justice, forgiveness, and kindness among men, will not win out in the end and will represent an unattainable goal for us. And that's really a, a big part of uh, <clears throat> what the world is trying to squeeze us into. This fear of lack of love or not love the way they want it or an injustice when justice needs and forgiveness and kindness is one of those things that the world is really squeezing Christians with, squeezing all of humanity. So we don't need to get caught up in that because Jesus will overcome all of it and he'll show us the truth of it. If this is the case and there's no then there is a call for spiritual perseverance. A call not to hang on and do nothing, but to work deliberately knowing with certainty that God will never be defeated. So no matter how much the world would would try to persuade us that these things will not succeed in God, they will succeed. If our hope seems to be experiencing disappointment right now, it simply means that they are being purified. Every hope or dream of the human mind will be, be fulfilled if it is noble and it's of God. But one of the greatest stresses in life is the stress of waiting on God. He brings fulfillment because you have kept my command to persevere. Continue to persevere spiritually today. The challenge I have is uh, <clears throat> find the joy in the word persevere. There's great joy in it because we do it within the Lord. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. So find joy in the word persevere today. We can do this because we know that God has done all and will do. Everything he does is eternal and he, he will have his way. There's great joy in persevering. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for that verse. Be still and know that you are God. And that's our, our heart's cry today in the midst of a world that seems to be going sideways, we pray today, Father, you would let us find joy in the perseverance, joy in the being still and knowing that you are God. So, Father, help us today to find that happiness and joy that comes from a secure heart and mind in you, knowing that you will indeed be our hero, that you already are our hero, that it's done. Jesus Christ said it is finished. Let us hang on to that and find the joy. And we pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow.